Fish taka. Fish taka. Fish taka, man. Fish taka. Fish taka. The fish taco man. Right on, welcome viewers to the first episode of Dom's Fish Tucker Man series. Basically, you've seen me catch the fish. Now I'm going to show you how we clean it and how we cook it. Basically, what you got here is a uh, an Australian uh, uh, herring. It's related to the salmon family. Um, the flesh is quite nice, fresh. It's actually quite delicious. And uh, basically, what I'm going to do is uh, do a fish and chip style. I'm going to fillet it. Very easy to do. It is small, so it's quite fidgety. So just put the nice sharp knife down here. Don't cut the tail because you flip it over. Put the knife down along towards the skin. Okay, there you go. Nice fillet. Get rid of the rib cage. There's the skin. Discard that, put it in the bin. Get yourself a nice fillet. This is a butterfish. They're not the best eating fish, but when they're fresh and you cook them in the fish and chips or deep fried, they're actually not too bad at all. So after you fillet the fish like this and you keep the skin on, this is how it looks. Just bones and skin. Now when it comes to calamari, again I'll just show you how you clean it. You can be a bit messy. Um, the trick is not to break the ink sac inside the body. If you do that, you definitely know about it. It'll be black all over the place. So basically I, I just uh, separate this bit here to the backbone, which is basically a, a plastic cartilage. Put your finger all the way down, or fingers if it's a big one like this one here. Grab it firmly with the head, give it a bit of a twist, and then pull. Okay, um, so that's all the innards, backbone, head, tentacles, all in one piece. You can keep the tentacles, so I just cut it here. They discard the guts and the head. You got the tentacles. All right, you can cook those up. Just trim off these suckers. They're quite annoying when you eat them. And around here, the body. Just cut it in half. Give it a, give it a wash. There you go. When it comes to the body, that's basically the body clean, no guts, and we get rid of the flaps and the skin. So again, you just apply the membrane with your finger. It just connects to the to the flaps quite easily. Quite easily done. All right, turn around. Get rid of the skin. All right, and that's. A squid tube. When it comes to squid rings, basically it's the tube. Make sure you wash it. Wash that there as well. And to make squid rings, which everyone knows squid rings, but I've never seen how it's done, get your tube and you cut it like that. There you go. That's how you get squid rings. Yummy. Hmm? Okay, so we've got all our fish fillets, got my calamari rings, and basically a beer batter, which I prepared before, put in the freezer. It's important to keep it nice and cold, because when you put it in there, it comes nice and crispy. Very simple, get your fillet, dab it into your batter. Right, you can chuck it back in, but I like a bit of breadcrumbs. 
There's a bit of a crunch to it. It's been marinated with the chili powder. Oops. And you just chuck it in the oil. Won't take long to cook. And when it's done, you got a, a fish schnitzel, which is look at that. Beautiful white meat and oh, to die for. I hope you're learning something new. Right here. This is what I love the best. Calamari. Again, and the breadcrumbs. It's not looking very pretty. That will probably take about 10 seconds to cook. Fish, taco, fish, taco, fish, taco, fish, taco, man. Fish, taco, fish, taco, man. Okay, viewers. So, basically, I'm done for today. Nice, crumbed fish fillets, freshly caught, freshly cleaned, and freshly eaten. Until next fish, time, taco, we'll see you guys fish, next time. Taco, fish, taco, man. Yeah. Fish, taco, fish, taco, the fish, taco, man.